a couple of videos ago, I had a couple comments regarding lining, lining garments, and I just wanted to share my thoughts on lining garments. So a couple of you said that you may be intimidated by lining and you haven't been able to take that next step to do a garment that is lined. And I just want to say that I was in that same position. It took me forever when I first started learning to sew to jump into lining. And I would look at a pattern, I'd read the back, and if it called for lining, I was like, forget it, I guess I won't be making that. And so I would put the pattern away and look for something else. And then what happened was I just decided one day to just take the plunge. I started watching videos and trying to see how linings are done and then I was like okay maybe it won't be that bad and I'll go ahead and give it a try but before I actually gave it a try I even found myself googling how to make garments without a lining ways that you can finish a garment so that I can not have to put a lining in and I did find that you can put bias binding bias tape around the edges and different finishings that you can do around the edges if you don't want to have the lining in there. And I know in some cases you make something and you may want to omit the lining and that may be one way that you can do it. But I was trying to omit the lining just for the simple fact that I was fearful and I was afraid to actually make something with a lining. So once I finally took the plunge, it wasn't so bad. I was like, okay, this is doable. It's still a learning process, but I did just want to encourage any of you that are fearful to just, you know, take the plunge when you're ready. Maybe you can even start on a smaller project. You can maybe do like a bag that has a lining because that may be a little easier just to kind of get your feet wet. You may even want to consider doing a smaller garment, say for example, like a top that is for a child practice and that way you're not using a whole lot of fabric and you can just test it out and if it doesn't work out you know you haven't really lost a whole lot and I just wanted to share your sentiments because I was there and another thing that I do say I prefer using lining that is more not slippery let me just say that because I can't think of the word I want to use so I have used cotton lining I have used like cotton lining such as like broad cloth something that's then I've used it, it's worked out for me, and as a beginner or someone who may be just testing the waters, that may be another option. You can try just using something that's not gonna slip and move too much, just so you can get the hang of what a lining does and how it should be installed. And then maybe later you can go on to some of the finer lining fabric. All that. right, so I actually received some fabric in the mail that I purchased from Cali Fabrics and I want to open that with you. I just ordered this last week so I remember what it is but I wanted to share with you so you can see what it is. And I also went shopping at Savers again and I found a knit fabric that I want to share with you. And I have it here on the floor. Oh, this is kind of hard to open. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. I thought this fabric was so nice when I saw it online. So it has this print, black and white, or I don't know if that's cream. It kind of looks like a cream in black. And I want to see how it flows. I think it's like a rayon if I remember. Oh, it's a Liverpool knit. I remembered what it looked like as far as the print. I just didn't remember the fabric content. Okay. I thought it was a rayon when I ordered it online. Okay. Well, it's a knit. And that's fine. And this is it. Now, I have absolutely no idea what I want to make with this. But I just really like the print, so I purchased it. So yeah, this is my Cali fabric purchase. And then what I found the other day when I was shopping at Sabres, the other knit, is this. And it's about a little under two yards. 
and I thought the color was very pretty now I have to admit it this color is out of my comfort zone I am more of a neutral type of person I love like beiges and blacks and whites and things like that so this is stepping out of the box for me but it was a good price and I like the quality of the fabric and so I thought I would go ahead and get it. I was looking through my patterns and I found a dress that I think I want to make. It's just really simple and um, it has a nice collar on it. It's a simplicity dress so if that's what I decide to make I will be sure to share that. Probably no matter what I, I make I'll be sure to share it because that's what I like to do. So this dress that I'm wearing is a make that I shared before. It is Simplicity 8375. Now when I made this and I made a video about it, this dress was white. But I found that I would never reach for it. So I pulled it out one day, I looked at it and I was like, I would wear this if it wasn't white. And so I decided to go ahead and dye it. So I just bought some Rit dye in brown and I threw it in the washing machine and it turned out like this. And I'm really happy with it. The last thing I want to share for this little clip of the video is that I am going to Florida. I'm going to Jacksonville, Florida in a couple days. Me, my husband and I, we're leaving at night. So it's going to be cold. So I want to wear something that I have made, but I want to wear something I've made that will keep me nice and warm on the airplane. So I will make sure to take some footage of me and so that you can see what I decided to wear. So yes, yeah, stay tuned and I will share with you my time in Florida. Multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby, I'm on high. So today is travel day and I'm really excited. I have been getting prepared. As you saw, I made a smoothie and all I put in my smoothies is uh, just put bananas. Sometimes I put dates, which are like big raisins kind of, but it's a natural sweetener and I use almond milk and then you know what I did today for the first time I thought I would give it a try I put some hot cocoa mix from Starbucks in my smoothie I just wanted to try it I saw it sitting on the side of the refrigerator and I usually use it to make hot cocoa and I was like huh I wonder how this would be if I put it in a smoothie so right now my smoothie is in the freezer I made it and put it away and I haven't had a chance to try it to see what it tastes like with the hot cocoa mix in it but once I try it I will be sure to let you know whether it was good but this is the hot cocoa mix I decided to bring it up here to show you and it's hot cocoa double chocolate it's really pretty good so yeah I just dumped that into the bottom of the smoothie cup and then I put all the other ingredients on top so we will see what it tastes like and I eliminated the date I didn't put the date in there because I figure there's um, a little sweetener in here or it's already sweet so I didn't want to add extra sweetness so yeah hopefully it'll be good it's kind of like a treat I'm looking forward to it like a like a little kid like oh, I can't wait to go have my smoothie because it's kind of like a chocolate shake so after I do this, I'm going to pull out my luggage and start packing. Figured out what I want to wear. And one of the things that I want to wear on the airplane is this cape that I made recently, which is Simplicity 9185 View A. I made this cape.
tape so I hope you can see it because it's kind of crumpled up here but it's one of the newer simplicity patterns and I wanted to give it a try and so I made that and that's what I plan to wear on the flight. So by the time we get there, it'll be the morning, which it probably still will be chilly in the morning. And then I can take it off because I looked at the forecast in Florida and it's supposed to be in the 80s, which is so nice. But it did say that it's supposed to rain a lot. So I hope it doesn't rain, but we shall see. place and I came up with Uptown Kitchen. Yeah, Uptown Kitchen. So, can you give me any more ketchup? So, I took my cape off because it is hot. I actually love hot weather, so I'm okay with it. Right now, I think what I'm going to do is go to Joanne Fabrics just to see if the Joanne Fabrics here has different things than the Joanne Fabrics in California, near my home. And I looked, I Googled like fabric stores and I didn't really see anything. I saw some things that said like quilt shops, but I didn't see anything like, you know, similar to Joanne Fabrics. So, Joanne Fabrics it is. I didn't buy anything from Joanne Fabrics. They do have a pattern sale going on right now, but I didn't see anything that I haven't already picked up that I wanted. Do you all like these cookies from Delta, the um, Biscoff? I know you can get them anywhere now, but I love these things. And we actually took two flights, so we have like a lot of these cookies because we got some on each flight and each of us got a bag so I've been eating these things like crazy I love these little Biscoff cookie thingies they're so good mm. so I can't check into the hotel yet check-in time is around 3 which is why I haven't changed I still have on everything from yesterday because like I said, we flew all night and then we got here in the morning and we couldn't check in. So I cannot wait to get into the hotel. I'm actually kind of tired. I would love to shower and just relax. So I think I'm just going to spend a little more time just kind of shopping around. 
until we can check into our hotel room. And then I want to share with you another sewing make. And I also want to tell you about the one that I was wearing, the cape. There's something I want to talk about and show you with the neckline. But I already took it off and tucked it away in the suitcase in the back. So I'll tell you about that later when I get to the hotel. So I made it to the hotel. I am just whipped, I'm beat. But I wanted to share with you um, what I wanted to share about this sewing make. So the way this is sewn, I've been wearing the collar tucked in like this, but the way, can you see it? Okay, but the way it's actually sewn is, let me flip it inside out. Hold okay, on. is the way that it's actually sewn is so that when you, if you flip it, with the collar on the outside, then the wrong side is going to show. And you can also wear it with the collar up or flip it down with the collar on the wrong side or just tuck it in, which is the way I have worn it. I've worn it this way and I've also worn it with the collar all the way out. Yeah, so this was very easy make and I did purchase this fabric from Joanne Fabrics. It is an acrylic type of knit so that is my first sewing make and then I will show you my other sewing make sometime tomorrow so Day. I feel so much better and so refreshed and I am actually at the beach this is Atlantic Beach and I'm really excited to see what it has to offer so let me show you my view at the moment so there's people out hanging and I'm gonna take this path and see the water. Oh, there it is, it's coming into view. There's some lovely homes, palm trees. Oh, look at this view, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. The sand is even lighter, I think, I'm not sure. It looks light. Wow, this is so beautiful. It's not cold. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is just so lovely. Wow. I've realized too that the people here are so nice. Everyone has just been so, so friendly. Even when I was driving over here to the beach, I had my window down and I stopped and people were like, good morning, hi. And then I even stopped to ask someone where to park. And they were just so friendly. They came up to the car and they were just talking and they were just so, so nice. Look at this sand, it's like white almost. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Oh, this is so pretty. I know I keep saying that, but it is. Oh my goodness gracious. Can you guys hear the sound? Oh, this is so nice. Let me get myself in the back or get the water in the back of me. Look, I'm here, I'm really here. Oh man, this is so nice. White beaches. So you guys, my mom told me that I lived in Florida when I was a wee, wee, wee little baby. And she actually said we lived here for two years. Now you know I have to go see what the water feels like. Oh, look at this seashell. Ah, let me see 
what this water feels like oh my goodness there's seashells everywhere that is so pretty look at this oh my gosh look at this this is so pretty what's in there Oh no, it's just dirt. Oh wow. These are just things I don't see in California. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, the water is warm. Well, it's kind of warm. It's not freezing, freezing. It's bearable. Oh man. Oh my goodness. You guys. <laughs> this is just so nice. I'm getting my dress all wet. But that's okay. So I brought my sewing make with me. I don't even know if I want to put the camera on me or on this beautiful view. My goodness gracious. So I brought the saw make with me that I want to share with you. So maybe I will just have a seat on this sand. It's so pretty. And then I'll just share with you the other sewing make that I have. This camera that I'm using doesn't have a view, like I can't see myself, so I don't know if you all can see me, I just hope you can. So this sewing make is McCall's 64, let me look, because I put it in my phone, my notes. Oh, I was so wrong. This is McCall's 8047, and I put together view two with view six, Look at this little doggy. Oh, <laughs> oh, is he gonna come and say say hi? Look at the dog. Hello. <laughs> okay, so yes, this is what cost eight zero four seven. Now this ended up being a muslin. When I want, initially when I was making the pattern, I wanted it to be the real garment. But when I went to the store to purchase this fabric, which is a crepe, I purchased it from Joanne Fabrics and I bought the last of what was on the bolt. And so when I got home, figured out what I wanted to make, I didn't have enough for the full jumpsuit by itself. So I ended up looking through my scraps and I found some crepe that was the same crepe, also from Joann's I believe. And I just used that for the top of the jumpsuit. And it does have elastic around the bust area. There was supposed to be elastic in the waist area but I just decided to leave that off. And I will definitely make sure I put some pictures of me or a video clip of me wearing this but after I was finished with it I wasn't too crazy about the two tones the two colors together and so I have just actually been using this to sleep in or to lounge in I slept in it last night so I'm going to keep it and I've been even thinking about maybe dyeing it and maybe I would like it better because I think if it was all one color instead of the two different contrasting colors then I would be more crazy about it but it's not bad to lounge in and another thing that I want to do next time if I make this again I would like to raise the crotch a little bit because it was kind of low just a little bit but not not too much but enough that I realized yeah if I make this again I definitely want to raise the crotch so that's that. It's not bad for just something to sleep in and lounge in and it's very comfortable. So yesterday while I was out, I also went to Barnes and Noble and I 
was looking through their books and this book right here it is guide as easy as it gets sewing i spent so much time thumbing through this book and reading it and seeing everything that was in here i was like i need to buy this book because i have just pretty much thumbed through and read through the entire thing when i was in the store so i was like okay i need to get this because i pretty much just just read it all not literally but you know i spent so much time just getting into the trim section and it was really interesting because it was sharing how to add nice trim to the bottom and the inside of different garments how to do piping neatly and I thought this was really good for me because those are things that I've actually looked up and tried to find videos on and I found a few but it's nice to have a book that I can just go to when I need to reference something so I just thought it was a nice little book to have so I'm gonna add this to my little library I don't have that many sewing books but I have a couple so yes anything else planned for today I do want to um, go to this vegan place that I saw they have some vegan cookies it's called insomnia cookies and I want to check that place out but yeah for now I'm just gonna enjoy this view and just take it all in this is like breathtaking get through here please please am i supposed to blow my horn let me see oh that didn't work come on bb excuse me excuse me this one doesn't want to cooperate look at him or her bruh Oh, I didn't realize I could actually go around. I had enough room. Okay. All right. I made it. cookies are really really good they came warm and they are perfect and I'm putting them in the refrigerator so that we can warm them up and have them for later so I have one and a half more days here 
and I have no idea what I'm gonna do for the last amount of time that I'm here but I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog so before I go I want to leave you with a love share so since being here I've learned a little bit about blue crab and I learned that blue crab here is abundant so you can get it and one thing I learned is the difference between a female blue crab and a male blue crab and the difference is that the claw tips on the females are red and the claw tips on the male blue crab they are blue thought that that was so so interesting so I feel so relaxed and so comfortable I think I may take a little nap and just wind down I want to check a few emails and respond to a couple of messages hope you had a good time hanging out with me